Hi, my name is Brian and you know, it's been too long since I've shot a video about aquariums. So, um, I know a lot of you that subscribe to my channel um, follow me because of my aquarium videos and I promise I'm going to try and start shooting more of them. For the last two years I've been remodeling this house. Um, it's come a long ways. Um, for those that have watched some of my videos, you'll recognize this is the aquarium stand. Yep, that's the same aquarium. I built it, uh, gosh, probably three, four years ago. And I brought it with me and I chose this house because I could uh, remodel the house to make the aquarium the centerpiece of it. So I'm really excited to finally be doing something with this. Um, if you are new to my videos, you can click like. I appreciate it. If you want to click like, unlike, it's the little X in the upper right corner of your browser. Um, I do restrict comments on my videos because I've had some challenges with people leaving inappropriate comments. So all comments are reviewed before they are um, allowed up. Um, cuts down on advertising for things that aren't related uh, to my videos. You can also check out uh, some of my websites. I blog occasionally, um, comfy hot, comfy.house, that's C-O-M-F-Y dot H-O-U-S-E. That's uh, my blog for the house. Haven't done anything with it in a while. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna be hanging my Ecozotic 100 watt light cannons. Um, each light is equivalent to about a 1000 watt metal halide. Um, and uh, I've got two of them. They're, they're fantastic. They produce a lot of shimmer. Um, it's kind of funny. Uh, somebody was talk. I, I saw a post somewhere where somebody didn't like shimmer, and I thought, if you don't like shimmer, why do you have an aquarium? Um, you know, you can always get a, a ten-gallon Hertz, uh, you know, aquarium, and uh, get yourself a little fluorescent single-tube light if you really don't like shimmer. So anyway, um, <clears throat> this is what they look like, and what I've done is I have gone ahead and installed hooks above my aquarium. They're two feet from the ends, so they should be four feet apart because it's an eight foot aquarium. And I've got stainless steel hooks and I've got some stainless steel um, <coughs> stainless steel hook uh, eyes that I've been mounted. <sighs> I have to just get them out of the uh, hermetically sealed packaging here. You know, it's about $2 worth of, or $3 worth of stuff from Home Depot. Now you'll notice I'm barefoot in my aquarium because I don't want my shoes to trap something and scratch it. And then I want this, quite frankly, as high as possible. And I will have to adjust this. So once it's, once it's up here, um, my next, my next step is actually to light it and see what it looks like. So I've got one. Ah. Yep, that happens a lot. Let's see, and I did one, two, three. I, I am most certain that this is not high enough. Yeah, no, that's not high enough. I don't even know why I bothered to put a chain on here. My other house had uh, 10 foot ceilings, so it probably made sense there, but here I do not have 10 foot ceilings. So I'm just gonna hang this up here and see. <clears throat> if it looks right. If it doesn't look right, I may have to adjust the mounts. Um, you know, again, we'll see. <clears throat> Forgotten this drill right here. It's actually an impact driver, but I need it in order to mount my ballasts. And of course, you know, those of you that know me for a while know I drink Coke. 
great stuff. for a magic moment. Let's see if it lights. <clears throat> Boom. And that's why they're called light cannons. So, there you have it. That's a lot of light. Um, it will look fantastic when it has coral and fish in it. Uh, but for now, that's all I'm doing. And what I've done is I have a digital aquatic system, which, you know, it's okay, but um, it's a really slow and cranky system. Um, I bought it several years ago and uh, I'm probably going to redesign something that's much more reliable. Um, but at any rate, so for now, uh, that's what I'm using in order to control it. I've got my ballast mounted vertically so I can get drip loops and I, I've got a bunch of things that still need to be resolved in terms of how stuff is set up in here. Um, and uh, I think I need to mount some, some wood so I have something to screw stuff into. But you know, for now, this is pretty darn good. and. Uh, I appreciate you watching my videos and I hope that you have enjoyed this. Um, if you haven't seen my videos, one thing I will point out is that this aquarium space is lined with um, hardy board, which is what's used for tile backers and for showers. And then that's been painted with one part epoxy garage floor paint, which makes it impenetrable to water and it will not rot in the unlikely event that water does get into it. So I need to mount something that I can um, screw into for all the different things that go up here, but the enclosure itself is waterproof and uh, That's one of the other things I'll have to solve is how do I vent the moisture from the tank? Uh, so I don't want it in the house Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and hope you enjoyed my video